All right, welcome back everybody. So today I'm gonna to end up polishing the barrel for my Pantera and I've already got everything disassembled and I got the liner here. And the main reason I ended up doing this was because I wanted to epoxy the carbon fiber liner onto the barrel, but I decided since I'm gonna have this out, I might as well just do a whole bunch of stuff while I have the rifle apart. So the first step is I'm going to clean this barrel out really good and then I'm going to do a quick polish, nothing too serious, but I did get kind of three different grits just to go over it really quick. And then the last part, which I'm going to do in just a different video, is epoxy the liner on. And the reason I'm going to do this is mainly just to see if I can stiffen up the barrel a little bit more and just get a little bit more accuracy out of it. And from everything I've seen online, just doing a quick polish down the, the barrel helps out a little bit as well. So I'm kind of excited to see if this does anything at all. <laughs> but at least I will know in my head that I have done what I can do to make this as accurate as possible. So, so I did purchase a couple things to prepare for this. So I got three different kind of grits of polish. So this one is just kind of like your general metal polish. I'm going to use this one just to kind of get any, any of the big stuff out of there and then go down to these two products, which are from JB, which I believe uh, is owned by Brownells or it is Brownells brand. So this is their non embedding bore cleaning compound. It's basically just a fancy metal polish. That's not going to damage anything when you go to do it and it's not going to take off you know, a ton of material because that's not the whole point of this. You don't want to really remove a lot of material. You just want to polish the surfaces that are there. And then this one is kind of the next step. It's just a finer compound. It's the bore bright bore finishing compound. And so this is going to be the last step. So I'm just going to do like a couple quick swabs of the thick grit and then just move my way down and nothing too serious. And then you do need to block off the crown so you don't affect the choke of the barrel and possibly cause any accuracy issues by actually doing that. So just block off the one side and then make sure it doesn't come out. And then I just went on Amazon and I just got a ton of these bore mops. So I got these ones, they're nothing special. They're just like a pack of six. I ordered like a couple packs because I'm gonna end up doing this to one of my other rifles as well. And so, that's it. So I'm going to get gloved up and start going to town. So I'm just going to get some gloves on just anytime I'm messing with any kind of cleaning products or lead, especially I'm always just trying to be a little bit careful. I do have a toddler and so I don't want to bring any of this upstairs and expose them to anything. So I just want to make sure that I try to stay as clean as possible and also for my own health I just don't need to get any more messed up than I already am all right and just real quick while we're here I just wanted to show you kind of why I was going to end up epoxying this carbon fiber sleeve on it's because it does slide over it and help make this barrel more rigid but there is, you know, some play in here. I mean, I can freely spin it no problem. And ideally, I'd like this to be really tight or epoxied on so that it's a lot more rigid. And hopefully I can squeeze some more accuracy out of it. So anyways, a lot of these products I'll put in my Amazon link. I can't link anything directly to this video. But if you go to my main homepage, I have a link to the, the store there just in case you want to find anything. I'm not even monetized or anything like that, so it doesn't even matter if you kind of do or don't, but if you did, that would be sweet. So actually, first off, I need to clean this out really well. So I'm gonna get my cleaning kit. All right, so got my cleaning kit. Just gonna run a couple patches through here. I'm gonna run a wet one through couple dry ones and then start the polish uh, I did kind of forget to mention that I did get these nice rubber vice clamps 
And so it'll hold the barrel nice and tight in here, but not like crush it. So it has a little channel for the barrel to sit in. And that's just gonna help, you know, be able to get some force down the barrel, but also not bend anything or damage it while I'm polishing it or anything. So it's really not that dirty actually. I had just cleaned this before my last competition and then during the practice and that morning, put a bunch of rounds through it, probably 150 or so. And then the match itself was only about 60 rounds. So about 210-ish rounds, I guess. That's how dirty it was. It's really not that bad. All right, one more patch and I think I'm good to go. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right. So you're gonna wanna leave your cleaning kit out because between the stages of grit, you're gonna end up wanting to kind of run a patch through it really quick and just make sure that you're getting out most of that material that you've polished off. All right, so this is how I've blocked the end of the barrel. If you have like a wall or something you can put right there, I just stretch this clamp out, put it over the barrel. It's not tight or anything. It's just kind of sitting here, but it will block the cleaning rod from coming out and just give me a little bit of resistance so that I know I'm there. And this is just tightened down loosely, just snugly in there, nothing crazy. And so now I'm going to start with the polishing. And the way you want to do this is just put a little bit of uh, the polish on one of your bore mops. And you just want to work it in a couple inches at a time. So you want to work in like six, five to six inch sections and just moving down. And then you want to make sure you change the mops in between each section, apparently. So that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. So this is the first stage. I'm just going to get this mop good and coated. Sorry, I keep changing angles, but there's just not a, a good angle to do this in here. So just trying the best I can. So just that first pass, you can see it's already kind of getting probably just some of the contaminants. I doubt that that's actually <laughs> polished anything, but All right, so that's after just a couple passes. And so now I'm gonna change this out and start the next one. So some pretty dirty rods there. So I'm gonna clean these out and then switch to the next grit. All right, so now moving on to this JB product and it is a lot thicker. So this is more of a kind of like a lapping compound, I would say, similar to that at least. It's a lot thicker. So, and I can definitely tell that there's a lot more grit in here, feels like. 
So I'm just going to coat this up good. There's all the dirty pieces. I'm going to go to the Four Bright. And this is a little bit thicker of a paste. It's more firm, but you can definitely tell that it's a lot more fine. It's a nice burgundy color. All right, so I just finished that up. Overall, I think it went pretty well. It's definitely a lot smoother now, either because I polished it out or it's just really clean. So either way, I think I'll end up finding out if this did anything uh, in the next couple days when I go to test this out. I did run through all three grits, uh, just the first one really briefly, a little bit more on the second heavy grit and then I finished it off with a, more passes of the fine grit and then I took a bunch of ballastol and some of the remaining clean uh, bore mops that I had and just made sure I got all of that grit and everything all the polish out of there so this thing is really clean and good to go and so that's kind of it for this video just wanted to show you how I did it and I guess we'll find out if it's uh, total disaster or it worked well in a coming up video but from here I'm gonna just call it a day and then I'm gonna pick up in the next video where I'm going to sand and clean the outside of this barrel measure it for the two end pieces and then epoxy that carbon fiber on so that will be the next thing I do and other than that I'll see you guys on the next one bye mm -hmm.